Welcome, my boy, Mishem Irgin Shiritar. I'd like to welcome everyone to today's share from Rav Yaakov Zav Smith Shlita. Alochas of someone mistakenly said a bracha. Now what? We would like to have the great solicitor sponsoring the share. Call Irgin Shiritar 718-851-8651 or email tapecenter at yeshivanet.com. Now, Rav Smith. Consider the following question. Someone made a bracha at the end of a tainus, kedarkai, and then he chapped. This is not a regular tainus. It happened to be Matsoi Tishabov Shachal B'Shabbos. And you're supposed to make Havdalah before you eat. So now he has a problem. He made a bracha on a piece of cake. He didn't yet make Havdalah. If he'll eat the cake, he's eating before Havdalah. He makes Havdalah first, and the Mazayinus is a bracha of Atala. What should he do? Or he made a bracha on a cup of coffee, and he realized he's still fleshiks. Or he made a bracha on a piece of meat during the nine days. Or he made a bracha on a food and it's not his heksha, it's his chal of stam, whatever it may be. And as we'll see, we have a group of questions and I just hope you could, you'll enjoy this as much as I did because besides being the gay in so many different forms, it touches upon the major yusaitis that we'll see in Hilchis Brachas. The, the tzada shava of our sugya, which is really the crux of the issue is, which is the lesser of two evils? If you'll eat the piece of cake before Avdallah, you're being Ivan Isidh Rabbanan. If you don't eat the cake, you're making you're turning it into a brachal of Atala. And I saw the Stechemid in his Mikhtiv Lachiskyo, Simon Hay, he has an interesting shayla, some of a neda. He's not going to eat until he learns a Perik Mishnayis. <laughs> and he made a brach without learning Mishnayis. So he writes, This is a sugya kola drachim becheska sakana. Whatever you do is no good. Brachal Atala is no good. Eating before a, a nether, a nether at the rice is no good. So the sensible approach would be, let's first determine what's the severity of brachal of atala. If brachal of atala is a deraisa, so then it's a no contest. If you're going to eat the food before avdala, it's an isderabonim. If you don't eat, it's turning out to be a brachal of atala, which is a deraisa. If brachal of atala is derabonim, then you can handle which is lesser of two evils. Lamaisa, we know that's certain. The Gemara says in Tmura Davdalid, if someone says, Hashem Shemaim Levatola, Shalom, that's a very serious Issa, Hashem Tira, that's being careless with Shem Shemaim. And this we know how many precautions Chazal made for us. For example, a person that's Makriva Karban, who's Magdish Karban, does not say Lashem Karban, because he might die after the word Lashem before he says the word carbon. Now, what are the chances of that concern? But you have to be careful, Shem Hashem. The Mar tells them, Sechta Bav Metziah, Oilam Nizdaza, the world shook when the Baruch gave the Issa of, of Shu Hashav. There's no doubt about it that Shem Shemaim Levatol is very serious. But the boys say, our sugi today is not Shem Shemaim Levatol. A person made a beautiful bracha. He made a, a shackle on a cup of coffee. It's a beautiful bracha. Even if he doesn't drink the coffee, but he made a very beautiful statement. Maybe bracha levatola is not as bad as Shem Shemaim levatola. However, the Rambam in three places in brachas, Paragal of Tezvav, Shuas Yud Beis Tes, and the Perador and Kuf Pei of the Chuvas Rambam says that bracha levatola is the same deraisa like Shem Shemayim Levatol. This is based on Igmar Brach, Islam, and Gimel. In other words, even though you said it in the context of a bracha, not just carelessly saying Shem Hashem, but Rabbi, let's talk tachlis. If it's the bracha Levatol, it's not necessary. So it's a Shem Shemayim Levatol. But I must tell you, and to make a long story short, because we have a big agenda, many Rishonim and many Paiskim make this chilek. Shem Shemayim, for no reason, is a terrible deraisa. Bracha of Atala that was said in the context of a bracha is only an Issa Rabbanan. And the Mishtabur and Reish Tezvav, Sif Katan Chaf, explains, you said a shakalni bidvare derach shevach vahido. It's not a deraisa. It's an asmachta, but it's not a deraisa. Now, the Svardash Shepais can bederach klal, go with the Mechabashita, in the end of Reish Tezvav, who quotes the Rambam 
that if you say a bracha shein etzricha, it's like Shem Shemayim Lashav, it's like Shvu Ashav. So the Svadish Shepayiskim feel that a bracha of Atal is a deraisa. But as the Mishtabura quotes, the Paiske Ashkenaz, but there a say, bracha of Atala, because it was said with a context of a bracha, is only Durabon. Okay, and of course it's a Chamadik of Durabon, and called Tikkun Durais, Durabon again, Durais of Tikkun. But now let's talk Tachlis. Let's once again reanalyze our question. I made a shakal and a cup of coffee, and it's, I'm still Fleishiks. So if I drink, I'm Oiva and Isra Durabon and Avasa Bechalab. If I don't drink, it's a brachal of Atala, which is the Rabbanan, which is the lesser of two evils. So logic dictates the following. If you drink some coffee, you're doing an Isra B'Kum Vaseh. If you leave it as it is and don't drink, it's a brachal of Atala B'Shev al Maybe it's better to leave as is. Shev al don't drink. And the Yemes, I'll tell you, a much bigger Chiddush. This is based on Imar and Shabbos, Davdalit. If someone, Rahman al put in a, a, a dough of bread into the oven on Shabbos, so he's Ivan Oifa. The Gemara discusses that, is it mutter to take out the bread once you put it in? With Diyasa passes and Issa the Rabbanon. Ah, you, you, there's a possible Daraisa, but don't do an Issa the Rabbanon, be a Dayan. Maybe our case, that to eat isn't biyadayim in Issa. Not to eat is brachal v'atala b'shev al Leave it as is. But then again, it's not a simple derabonon. This derabonon is a brachal v'atal that is chama like a deraisa. And that's really why the Steichemet writes, it's a kol ha-derachim b'cheskes So I'll tell you, l'chayra, a different solution that maybe satisfies all concerns. You'll avoid both problems. You made a chaco on a cup of coffee, or you made a mazainis on a cake before Havdalah. Do you know what the best eight is? Quickly say Baruch Shem. L'chayra, Baruch Shem seems to solve all problems. We know that's based on Yishalmi in Bracha, is Perik Vav, Allah Aleph. If someone made a Bracha on a food, let's say it was on a boat, for example, made a, one apple, and after he finished the, the Bracha, the apple fell into the ocean. So the Yishalmi says, now he has a problem. It's a brachal of Atala. What should he do? Say Baruch Shein. Zoktoisis in brachas la'am betes, v'chein nochein loima, al kol brachal of Atala Baruch Shein. And the Shechon Aruch and Reish Vav, Sivav quotes both Yishalmi and Toisis. Oh, so I have a good idea. You made a, a brach on a piece of cake before Havdala. Okay. And to eat the cake is no good. Not to eat Baruch Havatala. Have the best Eitzah. Say quickly Baruch Shem. Then you don't have to eat. And the is not a Baruch Havatala. And the truth is, we do this, at least Ashkenazim do this every morning. We put on Tefillin. We say two Baruches. And we quickly add Baruch Shem. So you see, Baruch Shem is a remedy for Baruch Havatala. But the emphasis is this can't be as simple as it seems. First of all, we know when you have a Suffolk bracha, you're not sure if you made a bracha on a cup of coffee, what's the halacha? Suffolk bracha is the hakel, drink without a bracha. And many people feel terrible about it, but what can you do? You can't make a bracha. What's the problem? Make another bracha and say, Baruch Shem. The terror says, Baruch Shem is not a remedy for a bracha vatol. Ibayis Ema Svara, how do you erase an Issa Brachal Vatala? You know, when you have a, something on a computer, you can hit the cancel button, delete button, and it's gone. But how does Baruch Shem rectify a Brachal Vatala? Zakti Archashokhan and Rejvav Tezayin, it's sort of a tshuva, he doesn't use that word, but that's what he means, it's sort of a tikkun, because you are careless with Shem Shemayim. So you have to show your concern for Shem Shemayim. So what do you say? Baruch Shem Kvayid Machus Yedolam Voyed. It's not a solution. It's a tshuva. I, why punk Baruch Shem? So that I could tell you. If you remember, we, we, we not longer, we, we, we went through this. The Avoidus Yom Kippurim, the, the Zei, the Zenith of the Avoida, was when they said the Shem HaMafayrish. And how did the Eden respond when you heard the Shem HaMafayrish? Baruch Shem. 
So apparently, Baruch Shem is a very powerful statement. So when you, a person was negligent, or Peshayin in a Baruch Levatala, he has to do tshuva. What's the proper tshuva? Baruch Shem. Ah, you're wondering why by tefillin every morning we take the liberty of making two brachas and saying Baruch Shem. The Territ is Pashit, that we're not concerned. Really, we hold, Ashkenazim hold, and Azim hold, that you have to make two brachas. But since Svardim and Groniks make one bracha, we play it safe, we add Baruch Shem. Baruch HaShulchan in Chav Hei, Yud, uh, Chav Gimel has a very mechudosh tekepshat, and he says that really, the concept of tefillin is the Keshet Vakadosh Baruch Hu, and Shema Yisrael, we say with tefillin, is one part of the Kesha, and therefore we say Baruch Shem after tefillin, so that connects to the Shema Yisrael. But there's no doubt about it, Baruch Shem is not a solution to a Baruch Levatol. It's a Tikkun. So in our cases, when you're in a quandary, the eight is not Baruch Shem, because you still have a problem with Baruch Levatol. So let me tell you another suggestion, but again, with Touching upon major Yisaitis besides. A person made a bracha on a tilshadayim and then made hamaitzi on the bread. But then he says, not, the bread is not fresh. You know, in yeshiva, if it's more than six hours old, it's not fresh. You know, bread from lunch for supper, pastish. So the bracha decides, you know what, forget about the bread. The supper looks pretty good. I'll eat the supper, no bread. Anything wrong with that? So first of all, if you wash and eat a lot of bread, then you don't make a bracha on the other foods because pass point to all the other foods. If you decide not to eat bread, just one bite, then you have to make a bracha on all the, the foods. You have to make a mazainis on the kugel and hadam on the vegetables and shakal on the chicken because pass point to only when you have pass. But if you have just a bite, so that's for sure. If you want to change midstream and not eat bread, you have to make a bracha on all the foods. But there's another problem. The br- washing the tilish yadayim we do even on a kol show. But the bracha and the yadayim is only on a kebeya, which is half a slice of rye bread, the center slice. If you're going to stop after one bite, it comes out l'chay, that it's the bracha l'vatala l'mafrei and tilish yadayim. And Taka the Pais can be concerned about that. But there's a sta- there's a ritva and chul and dafkov vav and the... And the Shara Tshuva and Kuf Nun Ches Aleph the Chazinish and Chav Hei quotes this this Ritva that it's not a problem because when you washed you washed to eat bread and you did the Mitzvah the Rabban and the Tilas Yadayim Kalacha so how could it become Bracha Levatola? Now if you know you're not going to eat bread don't make a Bracha but once you made the Bracha think you're going to eat and then you change your mind it's not a Bracha Levatola Lemafreya can we say the same is true in our case? And you think about it. A person made a bracha, a mezainis on a piece of cake. Matzah, tishavah. He's on a dehaibin, you know, madrega. He said a beautiful bracha. Then he realized he has a problem, he didn't make havdala. But it wasn't a bracha levatola, like he made a bracha on an eight. He made a bracha on a cake. Everything was good. He punked, forgot. Okay, it's a little careless, but you know, the Zayaka, this refers to humans as a barnash. We forget. When it's Nash, we forget. Maybe we'll compare it like the Ritva. That the bracha was, was not a bracha of Atola. It was a good bracha that later had a problem. Only you made a bracha on a cup of coffee. It's a beautiful bracha. Novos, you forgot that you're still flayishix. Maybe we could compare it to the Ritva and it's not a terrible bracha of Atola. But there's one obvious chilik. In the case of the Ritva, you could point to a Maisa Mitzvah the bracha went on the Maisa Mitzvah. So it's not a bracha vatala. Here, you made a mazainis on the cake. If you're not eating the cake, it's a bracha vatala. Then I found a real treat. The Har Tzvi in Simon Sadik test, he has a question. How, how does the whole Baruch Shem work? You make a bracha vatala, he's a Baruch Shem. Also, he says, the Yushalmi says, if you're holding an apple, you make an eighth and you drop it and you can't, can't get it, you say Baruch Shem, V'chein Nochra, and it's the same is true every Baruch Levatala. Like, what's the Chiddush of, of Taisis? Uh, Baruch Levatala, Baruch Levatala, all the same. Like, you know, Ruven Shemach Ala Shimon, Nero Li, Ulai, Hu Adin Shimon Shemach Ala Ruven. Shkoyach, Grace the Chid. What's Taisis adding? So listen to his chat. 
He says, when someone makes a bracha, and everything was right, it was not, he's not fasting, it's not fleshix, made a bracha on an apple, and that bracha dropped out of his hand, that's an oinus. That case is not a bracha of atala. But the bracha was good, everything was fine, but he dropped it. Novos, Lamaisa, the bracha didn't uh, fit, you know, so al shem shemayim, you should say baruch shem. The bazok, the tzvi, but let's say a person made a bracha of atala, a wrong bracha, Maybe taka doesn't help, and it doesn't help. So why do we say it as a tikkun? That's the hemshach of Toysis. A bracha that was said when you drop the food is a perfect bracha, but that baruch shem is, is enough. A regular bracha of atala is better than nothing. Oh, but Ay-Bazoy, I see taka that our case of a bracha on a food and you didn't eat the food is still lacking. The Kleisenberger in Devayatze Pei Gimel Sif Katnei says a similar yisoid, a bracha which, and w- which was then an oinus is not a real bracha of Atala and that's why Baruch Shem helps. So Lamaisa, in our cases, there was a st- shtickle negligence. You made a bracha, you should have remembered your fleshiks, you should have remembered you didn't make Avdali yet. But let me tell you another Eitzah. You made a shakal on a cup of coffee and it's a tainus. That's talking, you're in trouble. Let's say you made a shako on a piece of meat, and then you realize it's the nine days. So I'll tell you a good answer. Quickly go to the refrigerator, and take a cup of orange juice, and drink the orange juice. Or take a piece of fish. Turn the shako bracha, instead of a piece of meat, to something you're allowed to eat or drink during the nine days. Is that a good idea? Not really. Well, not at all. Because if the bracha was said on a piece of meat, you can't change it to, to orange juice. And the truth is, the Shulchan Aruch that we mentioned, the end of Reish Vav, about dropping the fruit, there the Shulchan Aruch said, you can't take another fruit, because your das was on this apple, not on a different fruit. So you can't just change the bracha from food to food. Lamash, you made a shackle on a cup of coffee, and you realize your fleshix. So you got a problem. You can't take orange juice. Because your shakal was on the milk of coffee. Now, if someone's nature is, when he makes a bracha, it's a bracha all-inclusive. It's like an anything USA. Anything in the refrigerator, anything in the cabinet, whatever he could get his hands on, the bracha goes. Like he doesn't know what he's going to eat. If his bracha is originally all-inclusive, then it's a good answer. He made a bracha on anything, so he could change from the coffee to orange juice. But most people are pretty disciplined to make a bracha on this, not on that. It will not help to change and grab a different food. But I wanted to find an eight, so I had a good idea. In all cases, you made a bracha, nine days on meat, or made a bracha on a tainus. If you're a little creative, you have the following eight. You made a barmi and mezainus on a piece of cake. Quickly, without delay, change it to a bari min a besamen. And grab the summer. Now, if you won the lottery just then, you could change, make a bracha shechiyonu. Change it. But, you know, what's more doable, quickly change it to the summer and then smell the summer. Now, on, on Tishwab, you've got a problem, but any other tightness or any other situation, change it to a summer. Then, as long as it's Tayyukadei Dibra and you didn't talk out, Lachar, it should work, right? Right, but not right. Because the truth is, there's a, a, a sheet of the Rambam, and let me just show you what the, what, how the Rambam is extreme. In Reish Tess, the Macha, Siv Dalit, the Machaba brings the Rambam, if someone made a bracha on a cup of, of, of water, and he wanted to say Shehakal, and by mistake he said, Bore pri agofen, like the Rambam is Yoitza. I, Gofen doesn't help for water. The Rambam sheet is the bracha is chal on the beginning. The baruch ato Hashem alekeinu the Shemu malchus. When he said baruch ato Hashem alekeinu, he intended on saying shakal, and forget about the end. The Rambam sheet that the bracha is chal by the has, the Shemu malchus. According to the Rambam, there's a second chiddush. If someone made a bracha, he made a bar priya eitz on a potato, which is not good. And Toyokade Dibor, he realized that it's supposed to be Hadama and he changed it. He's not Yoitza. 
because the bracha Hashem Malchus was said on an eight, not on a double. Now the Shechan brings a different sheet. But according to the Rambam, you can't change Teichadei In fact, you can't even plug in the right bracha. That's why the Mishtabura Mishti cautions when someone by Avdallah is a little forgetful and instead of saying Barimin Epsama first, he said Barimara Eish, don't change Teichadei Diba and say Barimin Epsama. Because according to Rambam, you're making Kalya. What should you do? Look at the, the, the Eish and then go back to Epsama. It's not Ma'akim. But like the Rambam, you can't change a bracha. Now, Lamaisa, the Shechanara quotes the second day, and that's the way we paskin. But in our case, to change, to make a, turn it into a psalmim, diba, like the Rambam is not good. So maybe it's a better Eitzah to eat a little bit. So that's why this is a little better of an Eitzah, but it's still not perfect. So then I thought of another simple Eitzah. You made a shackle on a cup of coffee, and, and you're still fleshiks, or on a, on a food before Avdallah. Following Eitzah. Taste a little bit, and when no one's looking, of course, spit it out. This way, you might have solved all problems. Why? Mamanashach? I'll tell you why. There's an issa to eat on a tainus. You just taste it and spit it out. You didn't violate a tainus. But so, Gabi Bracha, maybe the Bracha is Chal. Ah, you didn't swallow it. But since you tasted it, there's Anoas Cheich, there's the, the sensation of taste. So as far as the brach is concerned, you were yoitza. As far as the tainus is concerned, or eating milch is the flesh, you didn't eat. So if you could spit it out after tasting it, you might satisfy all needs, and you avoided the problem. But this is good until you learn a Gemara, and brach is after yudalid, which is in Shulchan Aruch, Reish Yud, Siv Beis, Mita'emes eina te'una bracha. You don't make a bracha on tasting food. Why not? Bosh it. Friday afternoon, you're not interested in having challenge, but you want to see if it's good. So you taste a little bit in your mouth, and you spit it out. That's not achila. Bracha Rishayna is not a deraisa, but it's based on the Pasik, v'achalta v'savata. So, v'achalta and the v'savata, v'achta, you make a bracha Rishayna and bracha Achrayim. That's the smachta. But if you're just eating it to taste, then it's not an achila. So our... Eitz is not going to work because you're only making it to Ima. But then I saw, and I had a stark know both the Rav Sternbach and the Tshuvis, and Aleph Shin Chavtes, and Tzik Kushalevsky, is quoted in, in Eitzoya. He says, there is an Eitz. Taste the food you made a bracha on, not L'Shem to Ima, but L'Shem Hano. Enjoy it. Not just to taste and see if it's good. Why is that better? Because that's not a Ti'ima. That's Hano. So that's really a good Eitzah. The only thing is, we once spoke about this, some say, to make a brach, you have to have Hanoas Me'ayim also. So then this Eitzah doesn't go. Also, Bechlal, it's hard to believe that he's telling him to taste it and enjoy it, so the brach is chal. Psychologically, he's not doing it for a taste. But I have a better suggestion. You made a brach on a piece of cake before Abdullah, eat it and swallow it. I, how could you eat before Havdalah? This you're doing only a little bit. It's far from a kezayis. The Issa, Stam Issa, Achila, Bekezayis. You're eating just a drop. Maybe it's not such a terrible thing eating just a drop. But of course the question is, wait a minute, who doesn't know Chatsi Shir is Asim and Atayr like some Shittas? And Chatsi is Lab Dafka 50%. Chatsi is any bit. But, and this is the sheet of some Rishonim, you should know. Chatsi Shir is Asa by an Issa Daraisa. Veil Satraif is Basa Bechalab. But if the whole Issa in its entirety is the Rabbanon, and this with the Birchas Abayis, and your test, your test applies to our situations. If you made a bracha, let's say before Avdallah, or before Kiddush will soon see, or whatever it is, but it's only an Issa the Rabbanon, then like Gazru Chatsi Shir, if you're intending to eat it, to save the brachal of Atala. So this is a good Eitzah. Eat a little bit, and you didn't violate the Issa, because it's, less, it, it's not a shear. But I must say, other Rishayinim hold that even by a Drabban and Chati, shear is also. 
and the Bajana Rav and the Tafkuf Sabaches regarding a bracha on, on a tainus says don't eat even a drop. <coughs> but I'll tell you another important halacha. The Machaba says in Kuf Tzadik Vav quoting a Rambam if someone is eating Issa now he has a muddled mind I don't know you can't figure him out he's eating Issa Issa the rice so even Issa the and he asks you, should I make a bracha on it? So tell him, don't eat it. He goes, no, I'm eating it. He's about to eat an isa de raiso de rabbonon. Should he make a bracha? So the machaba, based on the Rambam sheet, it says, moichel toivus. Don't make a bracha. You're making a bracha on an isa, but say your beirach, niyetz Hashem. You're angry in Kaddish Baruch, that's not a bracha. Okay, the Ravid argues. Ravid says, yeah, if he's eating, it makes a bracha. But the Rambam sheet is, you eat a it's a, even a drabanan, don't make a brach, it's a brach of atala. So here, Rabbi Isai, we have another solution to our group of problems by default. Now listen to this. You made a bracha on a food before havdala, right? Guess what? Right then and there, it's a brach of atala. Because you're doing an issa, eating before havdala. It's not going to help to eat. So forget about all your questions what to do. It's a bracha vatala right then and there. So we solved our questions by default. It doesn't help to proceed. It's finished. It's all over. And that's true. But there's a question. The Ravid holds that on, on an issue you make a bracha. Like the Ravid, it's not a bracha vatala. Plus, our case is not amazed. It's a shaygik. He's a, he's a helpless person. Is it really Niyetz Hashem if he makes, if he made a bracha when he was supposed to? But Rabbi say here we come to another major, major Yisoyed, both in our Sugi and Bechlal and Hilchis Brachis, Hilchis, I should say, in, in Kala Terakul, I should say. If you noticed, there are two different types of Isurim. Basu Bechalav, the Chayfet is awesome. The Veils and Treif is the Chayfet is awesome. A person made a bracha on a piece of glad kosher meat, that's not awesome. The problem is it's the nine days. Or he made a bracha on a piece of cake that's, that's, that's yoshan and everything. How am I this? But rather it's before havdolah. That, that, there's nothing wrong with the cake. That's called an issa's mani. The cake is fine. It's not an issa chefza. It's the wrong timing. In Allah, there's a big, big chilak. And I'll give you a beautiful marshal. The, uh, we know the Allah is that even on Behemtel Shen Tzadikim, the Bershom does not bring a Mechshel. They won't eat Tarfus. Kolshkin at Tzadik, Lahavdil, doesn't eat Tarfus. Frek Tois is a Psachim, Kuv Vav, and Abay is a beautiful Kasha. The Gemara there says that Rabbi Yirmiya mistakenly ate before Havdala. Did an Issa? Frek Tois says, Ah, it is a Shmir for Tzadikim. So Tois is Shmir, they shouldn't eat Achilas Issa, Tarfus, or the like. Eating before Abdullah is just an Issa's money. I'll tell you another beautiful Anyana Diyayma. We find in this week's parishes more than once, the Zahiris are always had to muzzle their animals. They shouldn't eat from Gezel, even the animals. So the Veldfrek, what do you mean? There's a Shmir and Behem Dosh and Sadiq, they shouldn't do Issa. We have to muzzle them. For the simple territories, but you have to do Ishtadlis. But it could be deeper. And if the animal eats someone else's. Uh, Tfua, it's not Issa Chefza, it's just not his. For that there's no Shmira. Shmira is on a Chefza of Issa. I'll give you another example. You can't give a child Tarfas to eat, even a baby Ben Yoyma. You can't give him Dam or, or, or Shratzim. So how do we feed our children, our babies on Yom Kippur? You're giving them Issa to eat? Issa the rice, Yom Kippur is Karis. The Territ says you're not giving them Tarfas. You're giving them glad kosher on his money, Yisra. For that, there's no problem. This Rabbi Isai is another reason why the Rambam Zisoi does not apply in our case. The Rambam says, if you eat Issa, you don't make a brach. Even Issa the Rabbana, like Bishol Akum. But our case, before Havdalah, before Kiddush, and nine days, it's not an Issa Atzmi, it's not an Issa Chefza. So it's not really working, but we're learning Yisaitis. Let me tell you another big Yisait. The Kesev Mishnah in Brachas Gimel Yudbeis asks a very obvious question. To bench, which is the Raisa, 
You have to eat a kazayas. Bracha Rishayna, you make on a kol shul. How could that be? Bracha Rishayna, which is the Rabbanan, is more chama than a benching the Raisa. So to Kesev Mishnah, that really less than a kazayas is not an achira. I want to make a bracha Rishayna. I guess he knew the human weakness. He's eating a little, just a little bit. You know, famous last words. You know, he's holding by his tenth just once. Eats and eats and eats. So he might end up eating more. That's why you make a bracha Rishayna on kol because you might eat more. Oh, so, so the Paiskim say, it's not Machad, the Paiskim say, maybe in our case, that he can eat more. So if he'll eat just a drop, guess what? The bracha is still a bracha of Atala. Because in a case that he can eat more, the bracha is not needed. The only reason you make a bracha is because he might eat more. Zok the Shevet Seifa and Simon Chafei, he, he was a son of the Ksav Seifa. Lamaisa, it's a good svara. But once Chazal mandated that you make a bracha on a kol shu, it's a chiv and light plug applies. So if he made the bracha and he'll eat a little bit, the bracha is chal. One last cheshbin, and that is the Magan Avram in Reish Yud Sif Kotan Vav. The, Re- the Magan Avram si- quoting earliest sources based on a medrash. If someone knows he can only eat a drop, no matter what it is, there's no chiyah bracha. Because that's mata emes. If you have to stop after a drop, there's no chiyah bracha. Our case is just that. You made a bracha before Avdallah. Even if you eat a drop, you can't go more, that, more than that. It's very possible that even eating more won't help. Why? Because you can't eat more. So eating a drop is not enough of the chiv bracha. Eating more is the eating isa. And this is why the Paiskim say, our case, and let's just reanalyze, and we'll go halacha lamaisa, kol adrachim becheskes hakana is a very accurate description. You made a bracha on a food before Avdallah. So let's stop. What should you do? Eat a little bit? You're eating an Issa. Chatsi Shia by Issa the Rabbanan is also like some. Leaving it slide is leaving a brachal of Atala, which some say is the Raisa, and some say is at least the Rabbanan, that's Mocham. And this is why the Paiskim say that since at the end of the day, eating before Avdallah, eating meat in the nine days, is not an Issa Chefza, it might be better to eat a little bit and salvage the brachal of Atola. Where did I see this? This is a Beferish Ramah, another one of our many questions. But listen to an interesting individual that had a very hard week, obviously. And he came Friday night and he had a fiasco, literally. He had, he had a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. He sat down and for some reason made a moitzi on the beautiful Lecha Mishnah and his family shrieked, where are you going? You don't make kiddush yet. So he made a moitzi on Lecha Mishnah. Now he says, okay, he looks at them pleadingly, like, what should I do? Tell me what I should do. So there's a very simple solution, believe it or not. Right then and there, make Kiddush on the Lecha Mishnah. Ay, wait a minute, but he made a moitzi on the challah. You're going to make Kiddush, it's a half sick before he eats. But some, that's something we do every single week. We make a girlfriend and then we make a long Kiddush and not a half sick. So, Lamaisa is all is not lost. He'll, he made a moitzi, so fafalin. Now let him make kiddush. Now his family are watching in horror what's going on here. Fine. Then he eats challah, okay. But then he remembers that he didn't make, he didn't say vayachudu, ala kais. So after he eats the challah, he will fill up a kais and say vayachudu. And after Vayachulu, he will have to make a guffin because he didn't make a guffin yet. Again, he's, a, he's, he's on his, his own agenda. So then he'll do that. He'll make Vayachulu, and then he will guffin and drink. So the family are watching this Purim spiel unfold. You know, it's like Amoitzi, Kiddush, Vayachulu, guffin, and that's exactly what the Pais can suggest he does. You look in Reish Hainal, which the Rus Yifkat and Memhei, Yifkat and Chavdal, that's what he's supposed to do. Now, on this Ramah, which is Reish Ayin Aleph Hey, Zok the Ramah, let's say he made Hamoitzi on his bagels that he bought, L'Kvoid Malava Malka, and his family shrieked, you didn't make Havdali yet, where are you going? 
He made a mitzi before he made Avdallah. So now he is a point beyond return. Because you can't make Avdallah on bagels. So what should he do? So here's the punchline. What should he do? What would you say to do? So the Ramah says, eat a little bit and then make Avdallah. Why? Because if you're going to make Avdallah first, it's going to be a hefsik. And you're going to make a bracha about Tala out of your Hamaiti Lechem in Aretz. Oh, this is exactly what we're looking for. Apparently, it's only an Issa Zmani. It's not an Issa Daraisa. It's less than the Shear. And you're doing it to prevent a serious bracha about Tala. That's the lesser of two evils. This is the sheet of the Ramah. Mamish custom made for our sugya. However, the Magan Avram, quoting Amar Rutenberg, says, no, no, no. You have to first eat. Why? Obviously, we have to first make Avdallah, I'm sorry. Because you can't eat before Avdallah. After you finish Avdallah, Zat the Magan Avram, then you're going to eat the bagel. Do you make another Maitzi? Zat the Magan Avram, yes. Because the Avdallah is a half sick. I listen to this. I if a person made a moitzi and realized he didn't say gvil turi feed the animals, he's allowed to say that, and you don't make another moitzi. But in this case, it's different because gvil turi is an isa deraisa of an asati asa of satchel and techav yechalt of savata. But in this case, eating the four does only through abanan, it's a half sick. So here we found a sashahava nafshi. Our original question. Is a machlaikis Ramah and Magan Avram in Reish Ayin Aleph Sif Hey. How do we paskin? So the Mishnah does not even mention this Magan Avram. The Rav and Reish Tadik Tezbei, the Birch Sabayis, your Tez Tezayin, says just like the Ramah. In other words, you made a bracha before Avdallah, eat a little bit, rely on Chatzi Sheer and Issa Zmani and all that, and then make Avdallah. The Svardash Poiskim that hold Brachal Atal is the Raisa certainly will say, eat a little bit and don't get involved in a Brachal Issa the Raisa. So now we can apply it, Lamaisa, to the host of questions. I think the first question should be if a person is a little less risky. He said Baruch Ato Hashem and then realized that he didn't make Havdalah or it's nine days or whatever it is. In all the questions, all his Baruch Ato Hashem. So here he has a emergency hatch that avoids all issues. Selam kecha, and then go back to where you're supposed to. Now I want to say something which is important. Lam kecha is not a perfect solution. You'll look in the Magan Avram in Kuf Lam Reisiv Kot Neches. You'll see it's not a perfect solution. You started Baruch Ato Hashem L'Shem Bracha, and then you converted it to a pasuk and Tilim. That's not perfect. But in our case, that's the that's the only Eitzim. Because to make bracha atal is no good, to make a half is no good. You know, when I was young, there was a, a habit, a bad habit. Someone grabbed someone else's Danish and said, Baruch Atah Hashem, and looked at him, you know, with pleading eyes, you know, tell me. Okay, take it. If he says no, so the fellow said, I'm Danish Kukecha. That wasn't the good Eitzah. So I was thinking, if he's a big Lamdin, he made the Baruch Atah Hashem Yesh Breira, the Kavan is Betnai, either it's Tilim or a Bracha. But Geneva is still no good, so whether you're a Lamdan or not. But Lamdan Chukech is not a perfect solution. But in this case, it would be okay. Okay, now let's apply in the order of Shulchan Aruch. A person made a bracha on a piece of cake, as he does often in the morning, and chapped that he didn't daven. He went to a bris, a whole story. If he didn't daven, and by a bris, he made a bracha on before davening. So this is a serious issa, because eating before davening is gaiva. And some say, consider the rice of Isaichu al Adam, Isaichu Gadi Spa'al al Dimchem. But then again, it's not an Issa Chefza, and it's more likely it's not a Daraisa Mamish. And I think that this Shaila I did not find in any of the Paiskim. So it must be Pashit. The question is which way. So I believe it's Pashit to say, eat a little bit, because the Issa is an Issa al Gaiva. That's why the Shulchan Aruch is matter to drink water before davening, even though you can't drink water before Kiddush or Abdullah, because the is is a gaiva isim. If someone eats just the morsel of the food, so the brach is chal and doesn't reverse to a brach of atala, it's not gaiva, and therefore the chari, that would be the solution. Question, someone made a bracha on the bread in the morning for breakfast, and he remembers he didn't feed his animals. 
So this we saw, the Magan Avram says, is that the Raisa, he of the Raisa to feed the animals first, and he has no choice but to feed the animals. However, the Bialoch and Kuf Samach Zayin Vav wonders, is it really a Daraisa? The Pasuk in, in Krishma is just Asmachta. So the Magan Avram, the, the, the Bialoch means to say that it's only this of the Rabbanan to eat before you feed your animals. Oh, so what do you do then? So I'll tell you what you do. It's an Issa de Rabbanan, that's not an Issa Cheftza. It's an Issa Zmani, right? Eat a little bit, so the brach is Chal, and then go feed your animals. I should mention, Rav Moish and Chelek Beis, Nun Beis, actually the Peloyo, it's an Erech Tzabal, Chaim already writes this, that the reason why you, you have to feed your animals first, because they're dependent on you, and they're not self-sufficient. So Moshe and the Peloyoids both say, younger children also have, we have a chiv to feed them before we eat ourselves. So if someone should know that, especially mothers have young children, if they mistakenly made a bracha before feeding the young children, and they could feed the young children first, it's the right time, let them eat a drop and feed the young children. Question, a person made a bracha on a food and didn't realize it was spoiled. It's a possible baltashatsu. But he made a bracha, what should he do? No, so Rabbi said, we should not, we know the direction here. Baltashatsu, like most shitas, is the raisa. And it's, it's a chafza. There's something wrong, very wrong with this food. And that's probably why the Paiskim discussed this shayla with great chayma. The Bach, in the end of Simon Reish Vav, says, if you could eat a little bit and the bracha is chal, that's better. Obviously, if you can eat a little bit, it's not so unbearable. It's not Baltashatsu. Zaptashari Tshuva in the beginning of Reish Bey is quoting his Bach. But let's say it's Mamish, it's unbearable. And you can't eat it. And let the Bracha become a Bracha of Atala. Oh, that's far I know. It's very good. Because this is an Issa Daraisa and the Chefz is also. But what's interesting, interesting to me is the Bach and the Shari Tshuva both say if you could eat it, somehow manage, do that. Now, who are you fooling? You, you, you notice it's Mias. So I was thinking, maybe it's a shtikl ach today. If you want to eat it, so the brach is chal, you're eating it. Now, there's a story that says the Goyen once mistakenly touched a peel of a, of, of a, of a nut, or whatever, a, a thin peel, and he realized it was mukta and he fainted. When he was revived, he saw the, the peel again and fainted again. Now, as Robertson realized it's going to go on all day. So the next time he came back to himself, she took it and ate it. So she showed the mafreya that it's edible and it's not muktzah and the guy didn't faint. Now, I don't know if she made a bracha on that or not, but it's interesting, it's the same lundus. Once you sh- she showed she ate it, it's not muktzah. Maybe here also, if you could eat it, it's not bal tashaktu. But what's interesting is that here we see that every case comes up and everything is found if you just know the Yisoidis. Grada, I saw the Abiyo Oima in Chalik, in Yeridea Chalik Bey, Simon Hay says, if you hold Baltashaktu's the Rabbanon, then things might change. Because then you're talking about a Rabbanon Baltashaktu and Brachatola Shitasoi, that Brachatola's the Raisa, then you're better off taka, eating a little bit in all, in, in, not eating, because he have, if you don't eat it, you're going to end up having the Bracha the Vatala the Raisa. Now the truth is, it makes sense if a person feels uncomfortable to eat it, don't eat it. Because the truth is, if it's taka so unbearable, then it was really bracha levatala before you started. Because you made a bracha, bracha on an un, unedible, inedible food, it's a bracha levatala right away. It's not going to help to eat it. So if you can't force yourself, leave it as it is. Question. A person made a bracha on a cup of water, and, and then he was told, don't drink, there's a mace in our shechuna. Now this was a year in Yeridea Shilam Bates Hay, that a water in a, ma- in a shechuna of a mace is sakonadik. So now he's in a quandary, what should he do? So the Magan Avram at the end of Reish Vav quotes a Sefer Chesidim a tough soft Nun Aleph. Drink a little bit of water. I, it's a sakona. Shayimitz le'ed davara. Now this is a big chiddish. Because if water is sakonadik, it's a deraisa, and it's an isachefza. But the Magan Avram adds a few words to the Sefer Chesidim. And he says, That's a wonderful response to my question. If it's a sakana, then you can't eat it or drink it. 
because it's Veraisa. But if we could determine it's not a Sakana, Kushay Mitzvah Yedid it's not a Sakana. So drink it a little bit, no Sakana, and no Bracha Levatalo. The same is true if someone's very makbut on Giloy and he makes a bracha and then found out the water was Megula, drink a little bit, la yeda davara. Question, but approach with caution. A person made a bracha on a piece of potato kugel and realized he didn't yet make kiddish Shabbos morning. What should he do? So you wonder, we just spoke about that. That's Reish Ayinal of Sifei, right? No, oh, but this case is different. We spoke about you made a moitzi on pass, so you could turn it into a Kiddush. You can't turn a potato kugel into Kiddush. So here you are, you made a, made a brach, whatever brach you make, shakal dams on a on a piece of potato kugel, and you didn't make Kiddush yet. No, but we know the answer to that. What about if you made a bracha on a bagel before Havdalah? What did the Ramah say? Eat a little bit. Zotishmir Shabbos, nun beiz yutes. Our case is the same. You can't make Kiddush on it, so it's like before Avdallah. Eat a drop and then make Kiddush. The Kiddush to me was the Shalom Eishev in Chamisha, Aleph Yud Ches, has this very Shaila, and he says, you made Kiddush, you made a bracha before Kiddush, no problem, make Kiddush, and then eat the kugel without a bracha. Because the, the Kiddush is a Tzayrech of the bracha, because you can't eat before Kiddush. Which is a very nice svar, but you know who says differently? Ram Rutenberg. Ram Rutenberg said that if you, you, if you make Avdala after the bracha of the food, it's a, it's a hefsik. It's only Gvila Turi, that's the Raisa. Our case is the same, it's a Durabana, not a Raisa. And Taka the Bajanarov and Reisha and Gimel and Sifei, the Bamaskal, Ayin, Shaz and Shubas, Taka asked this Kasha on the Shalom Eishiv. He seemed to oversee, oversaw the Disbeferish to Ram Rutenberg. Another interesting question. Leil Shabbos Kodesh, again he had a hard week, he washed the Tilas Yadayim and then realized he didn't make Kiddush yet. Where are you going? He didn't make a Moitzi yet. Wash the Tilas Yadayim and then he didn't make Kiddush. Chapt. What does he do? So this, you'll say, no problem. We just said that earlier, make Kiddush on the pass. But we could do better than that. In this case, make, go get a cup of wine and make Kiddush on wine. I, wait, wait a minute, Let's, what's your location? You made a Tilsa Daim on washing? You're making Kiddush on wine? Rabbi said, that's what the Ramah in Reish Ayin Aleph Yud Bey says, V'chein ha-minig ha-poshit b'medinas elu. Ramah writes, that's the minig, when Adayoyim, it's the minig of German Jewry, you wash the Tilas Yadayim, make Kiddush, and then make Hamoitzi. Now, it's a Kiddush why we don't follow the Ramah's minig ha-poshit in our Medinas, but we don't. But says the Mishnah Brura in Sitka and Samach Beis, in this case that you washed and you realize you didn't make Kiddush yet, you'll follow the Minik. You'll make Kiddush on Yayin, then make a Moitzi, and you'll have your second uh, Purim spiel Friday night that your family are totally in disbelief, but that's the right halacha. A person made a bracha on a food before Havdalah, so that we saw as Machleik is Ramah and Mogan Avram, and we pass in like the Ramah, eat a little bit, and then make Havdalah. Tell you a chiddush. A person made a, a moitzi on matzah and realized it wasn't shmura matzah. It was matzah, but kashla pesach, not shmura matzah. Of course, talking about on pesach. So the truth is, as much as we're makbed on shmura matzah, but regular matzah is not chametz. For they all say that you have to have shmura. Zok de birchas habayis your test yud ches. In this case, eat a little bit of the, of the non shmura. It's not chametz chas v'shalom. And to make a brachal of atola is ishkanetza. He says, if you have a minik, mamas like a nether, only eat shmura matzah, then you got a problem. That's a question of a nether. But basically he says, even then, just eating once is not changing your, your, your minik. You're just eating it because of this situation. You'll have to eat a little bit and then you continue with the other matzah. The point is, we, we like to be firm and we should buy shmura matzah. But to make a brachal of atala, even though it's only an isad rabbanon, is, if possible, is we should avoid that. Interesting story. A person made a brach on an egg, put it in his mouth, and then someone says, Oi, that egg is muktza. Now, I'm talking about on yamtiv. Yamtiv be'i shenol to be yamtiv is muktza. Le'i achel, Mishnah says. Zog to Mishnah spit it out, and don't eat the egg. Question... 
I Muktzah is only the Rabbanan. But the answer is that this is an Issa Heftza. Muktzah is, is, is something wrong with the Muktzah. And that's why and this would be an Issa the Rabbanan that is Becheftza Asa. And it's better to spit it out and not eat and let the bracha be. But the Eva the bracha Levatol. Question. A person made a bracha on a tainus. So this is a tremendous tumult in the Paiskim. If you follow our reasoning, Tainus is only an Issa the Rabbanon. It's not an Issa Chefza. It's like eating before Havdalah. So we have the Ramah that eat a little bit and then continue to Tainus. And don't forget, you didn't lose your Tainus because you only lose your Tainus if you ate a Kazayis. And there are days, the Sharachuv and Tafkov, Samaches, the Birchaz Abayis, your test, Tezvav, says just that. You made a brach on a Tainus, eat a little bit, and then stop. Of course, Yom Kippur will be different, but a regular Tainus, the Rabbanon, is an, and not Isazman, is an Isazmani, eat a little bit, and that's it. But the Chiddush to me is, I come out all the Paiskim, Ashmi, Piyam, Anu Chayim, say, don't do that. Don't eat at all. The, 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 the Das Torah in Tafkov Samaches, or Chashochan and Siv Ches, Kavachayim, Siv Kotten, Tezvav, God, he's in Svardi Nachtetzu. Rabbi Yashiv and Ashri Yesh, Chele Gimel, Samach Zayim, Beis, all say, even on a tiny, that's not Yom Kippur, don't eat at all. And the question that I don't have a good enough answer is why is eating before on a tainus different than eating before Abdullah or Kiddush that's an Issa Drabana that's not an Issa Cheft is an Issa Zmani. So the, the Bajana Rav has a bunch of Cheshbainis that, that you made a bracha tal already because it's a, you know how to eat on a tainus. He uses all the svars that we said earlier. Echati Shia Asa and, and, and the bracha is, and, and, and like the Kesav Mishnah not going to eat more. All the svars. But at the end of the day, why is it different than Kiddush or Avdala? So I saw the Das Soifer, again the Ksav Soifer's son, Simon Chafei, he says, don't eat. I, Shulchan Aruch Reish, I am Aleph Hei, to eat before Avdala, but I am Magan Avram. <laughs> don't get the Magan Avram, that's not a Teretz. So what I think the only Teretz, when again the, ter- the Kash is better than the Teretz, is that Lamaisa we know, Tainis is a Chomad Isim. It's a Divri Kabbalah. More so, a person that ate B'meizim, Rachman Lotzan and a Tainis, and he ate a Kazayis. So he lost his Tainis, he can't get an Aliyah. But can he continue eating the rest of the day? The answer is no. Why? Because there's a mitzvah of Tainis, and there's an Issa to eat on the Tainis. So maybe that Issa to eat on the Tainis is like an Issa Chefza. Even though I don't know why exactly, but it's a Chamat Issa. But at the end of the day, we follow our Paiskim. If your person made a bracha, I'm mistaken, in the Tainis, don't eat at all. Put it down and hope that the brach vatala is justifiable. Question: A person, tricky question. A person on a, on a tainus made it washed, made the natil shidayim bracha, about to make a moitzin, and says, "What are you doing? It's a tainus. What should he do?" So says the bircha sabayis and your test at the end of sifka and tezvav. He says, "Don't eat. Because you want to eat to make the natil shidayim." You're worthy. Don't eat. Stop what you're doing. Now I wonder why he didn't quote our ritva that you don't have to eat for a different reason because the bracha was chal on the ma'isa mitzvah. He says don't eat because it's a tainus, but it's a better svar. Don't eat because the tilsa daim is not a bracha latala. So what you did is nothing wrong. Tilsa daim is justifiable. It was a ma'isa mitzvah. You're not eating. No bracha, and therefore you're safe. A person made a bracha on meat or wine during the nine days and realize it's nine days. So if you ask Abhaim Kanyevsky, you say, no problem, quickly make a siyam and then you <laughs> eat meat or drink wine. But for us that are not computers, we have a problem. So this, the, 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 the Pasha the Pshad is, it's only a minik. Nine days, only a minik. Like the Svadim, the Shavuah Shechal Bait. But the Stechemet in Chei Likei Amit 278 has another Cheshbin. The Issa of eating meat or drinking wine is an Issa of Simcha. It, there is no Simcha to take one bite of a sizzling steak and put the rest away for after, after Tishavav. There's no Simcha. Rabbi Yav, Rabbi Rav Rabbi Yav, Rabbi Yav, he has a different Cheshbin, and he says, it's, it's, since you're eating it out, the Bracha Shabbai, it's not a stira to the Avelis. A similar but different svar. 
Your kavan is to be matzal the bracha, it's not a stira to avelis. Similarly, to move on to Yeridea, a person made a bracha on a food and then he realized it's not his hechshem. Or, I'll tell you something trickier, he made a bracha on, on, on Mazayin, and someone thought, oh, that's pas palta. That is a hechshem, but he's not going to pas Yisrael. Or that's chol of stam, and not chol of Yisrael. So we would have said, you know, any suffolk, yes, don't eat. And that's what Rav Ozna says in the end of Chelek Aleph, in the Chuvis HaOrah Simeresh Rav, if you made a bracha on any food that has a suffolk on its kashris, don't eat suffolkus, so you don't have to eat. But to me it was a chiddush, she said, but let's say it's pas palta, which there are is mekel, eat a little bit. Even though we're makbir on pas palta, but it's, it's mutter. The das moishe, that's the moishe de biyana, from kruka, in simon ches, he says, and this is a chiddush, but as he says, on cholav akum, which some are mekel, it is a kal, you could also drink a drop. Which is a chiddush, but that's what he says. Rav Ozna, as a, someone asked Rav Ozna kasha. You said that if you made a brach on something that suffered kashris, eat a drop. I, the Ramos says, you made a brach on it uh, before Avdallah, you have to eat a drop. But the question is, on Rav Ozna's other side, that tainis, we don't eat. How do, you, do, do, how do you understand that you made a brach on something that you have a suffered kashris, then don't eat. You made a brach and a tainis, don't eat. Avdallah, do eat. That was the question he asked for So he says, Amar Dik Yisai, there's an Issa eating before Avdallah is mutta if he started beheta. You have a long shal you've got to eat into the night. If you made a brach on the food, it's like you started beheta. Therefore you ought to eat more. But on a safik kashris, and I would add, on any other Issa that there's no heta, when you start a beheta, then taka, you have to stop. And that might be another hezba why a tainis is worse than havdala. Havdala, it is a heta, you start a beheta, and tainis is no such heta. Just a few maharas quickly I wanted to mention. You made a bracha before six hours after, you made a bracha on milk before six hours after.
This is, this is a separate issue, Paul. Oh, separate issue. Oh. Separate issue. I'm just a listener. I've got it. Okay. I have the major dick 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 But the Smith is saying a sikkim anyway. Shh. Just the short time we learned today, Bez Hashem, it's important to think before you make a bracha. That's the all agree that will avoid all issues. But that halt and cup, that untun the cup and halt and cup and know what to say. Once a person made a bracha and realized that he cannot eat, whether it's before Avdallah, before Kiddush, nine days, whether it's uh, he made a nether not to, not to eat until he learns, all these cases we, we're in question of a chaymer of bracha levatala, that loymi boy, if you hold it's deraisa, then it's mamish uh, oil mizdaza. But even if it's derabanan, but it's a, it's more than a regular derabanan. It's shem Hashem, and as the pais can say, these shailas are best described as kol adrachem becheskes akana. So what's not an eitzah is to quickly say baruch shem because that's only if b'diav is no other eitzah, even though that's good, but it doesn't really remedy the problem entirely. If it was a real oinus, a person made a bracha and he dropped the fruit, and we could think that the bracha was good, and then the bracha shame helps. But in our case, he was he carelessly made a bracha on the nine days of meat or before Avdallah. So then the bracha shame is not a total solution. So you have to find an Eitzah. To grab another food, let's say he made a bracha on milk within six hours, to grab orange juice is not a good solution because the bracha was set on milk, not on juice, unless he had a bracha that's all-inclusive. To turn the bracha from a food bracha, which is us on a tainis or before Kiddush of Abdullah, into a psalmin bracha, even if he does it quickly, tayakadei dibur, is again not a perfect eitzah, because like the Rambam, the conversion does not help, because you have to have, the bracha goes after the aschala and not the gemar. Rather like the other paiskim, it would be a good idea if you could do it quickly enough. Tasting the food and spitting it out, so your yaitzah the bracha, but not, you're not violating the issa achila, is not a good yaitzah, because ti'ima ain't sarach bracha. We had a shtickle of, a, of an yaitzah, maybe ti'ima l'shem bracha, l'shem hano, maybe that's better, but even that is not perfect. Even swallowing a little bit of the food is still chatzishir. Then we said, making a bracha on a, on a, on a chayfetz of an issa is a bracha of a taller right away. So eating won't help. And, but we said, more often than not, our shaylis, before Kiddush, before Avdallah, nine days, milk after meat, they're all not isa chefza, so it's mistavah that it's not a bracha levatala automatically. Then we had the Kesef Mishnah eating a little bit, there's no bracha rishen if you have to stop, or the Magana Avram that says that. But basically, it seems that this is a big problem without a simple solution. If the person only said Baruch Atah Hashem and then chapt, he didn't make Kiddush, Avdallah, or nine days, whatever it is, quickly say, quickly say I'm Dene Chukecha, which is good but not perfect. It's not an Eitz Lachatchil to say Baruch Atah Hashem, Dene Chukecha, and change it. But in this case, it's the, certainly the best Eitz, and then you don't have to eat or make the Bracha. A person made a Bracha before Avdallah or before Kiddush, and he can't turn it into a Kiddush, we seem to hold clearly that he should eat a little bit. Don't allow it to turn into a bracha levatola. Apparently, it's a, a small amount. It was b'shoigig. It's not an isachefza. And bracha levatola, even if it's drabanan, is worse. Even though you're eating b'kum vasei, but bracha levatola is worse. A person ate, made a bracha before davening on a food, eat a drop, it's not gaiva, and presumably it's not an isa. A person made a bracha before he fed his animals or lahavdal his young children, eat a little bit and then do what you have to do. A person made a bracha on a, on a food that's mius, if it's unbearable, then just drop it and you can eat isa of bal tashatsu. If you could force yourself to eat it, a drop, that would be the solution. A person made a bracha on a dangerous food, water in a mace, of a shchuna of a mace, Drink a little bit, I should mention a food that's also 
Beteva, a sakana, poison by, by a food that's also sakana, beteva, and basa b'chol is an example, um, basa and, and dogam together would be an example. You cannot eat because there's no heta of shemitz leyeda davra. Once had the shaila, person had a very interesting taste to his chol on Shabbos. And he realized that instead of putting in a loaf of kishka, he put in a loaf of gefilte fish. <laughs> so he, to say, Shemitz uh, Davra, it's Kavat Shabbos, is wrong, because on a Sakana Tivi, we don't say Shemitz. That says it's only a Sakana Skuli. Food, he made a bracha on bread before Kiddush, so then he should, what he should do is make, uh, make the Kiddush on the past, like the Ramah says, and afterwards you'll say, Vayichulu on a case of wine. A person that washed the tilos yadayim and forgot to make kiddush, then you make kiddush on the wine and then you eat the pas. You made a bracha on non shmur matzah. If there's not a, a, a nedem by him not to eat non shmur, eat a little bit and then the bracha is chal and then go back to shmur matzah. A bracha on a mukta food on yomtiv, you can't eat. The assumption is it's an isa chefza. Tainis is something that I'm still not happy with. A lot of people say you should eat a little bit, which is consistent with kiddush and avdala. But it seems that the Paiskim Ashmei Piyam Anuchayim say, don't eat at all. And it's, it's uh, the only Hezbo that I, we came out, which we, we, we can understand, is that the only Heta of Kiddush and of, uh, of Avdol is because you let, once you start a Heta, you're allowed to continue. And by Atayinus, we don't have that Svar. But the truth is, we're eating before Kiddush. There is no such Lamdis that you once you start a Heta. So we'll leave it as a shtickle of a Tzarechim. A person that washed until Sedayim on Atayinus and did not yet eat bread, stop. The bracha is not a bracha vatala, and don't eat. Meat, wine, on the nine days, eat a little bit, drink a little bit, it's not a simcha, and it's not a steer to avelis. A person ate a bracha on a food that has a chashash tarfus, don't eat, even a chashash. On some, it's only a chumrah, and we saw even paspalta or cholov stam, that we saw you could eat a little bit. Someone pointed out that the cholov stam today might be real tarfus if it comes from cows that have problems with uh, their, their health. So I wasn't talking about that. I'm talking about only a chal that's lacking the hashgacha of, the, of, of Yisrael. A bracha on milk within six hours of fleshik, you could be same eating a little bit. A neder not eat until he learns mishnayis, he should not eat because neder deraisa and even the sinis for your I hope I'm, hold on, I don't want to say anything. In, in Yeridea, in, in Kufiyu days. In Arachayim, in Kuf Samazayim. In Mishan, in Semesa, in Shachan, whatever, the whole thing. Here it is, Pas Akim. Pas Akim. Look it up. Yeah, yeah, Pas Akim. Pas Akim. It's not Pas Akim, it's Pas Balfour. What? Pas Akim. 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 Twice is Pas Akim. You have to eat it with the Balabai. It's Pas Akim. That's Pas Akim or Pas Akim. Pass Balabas or pass, pass You know the chalut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you tell me. Yeah, but I got today's 